Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's video. I've got a really cool setup for you today. Uh, I am taking a little peek at what's coming up next from PPG Smoke. As the name implies, PPG Smoke got their start making smoke machines for paramotors. And the smoke machines are back. We are checking out PPG Smoke's smoke machine version 2. This one's rechargeable, it's got a better pump, and everything's been thought out really nice. I'm pretty impressed with the build quality. Uh, let's go take a look at it and get into the sky. So here's the unit. This is where the magic happens. We've got one liter tank on the back with little windows you can see through for level. And then we've got the pump unit in the front. That's the, that's the money shot. The pump itself has a rechargeable battery built in. It's got an adjustable flow rate knob. It's got USB-C charging. The switch with the indicator light. Then we've got this wire that goes out to the button. Intake from the tank and out flow to the injector on the exhaust. The tank itself, like I said, is one liter. And it's got a nice wide nozzle with a one-way valve built into the top of it. And that is where all the good ditty oil, uh, baby oil goes. When the button is pressed, 400 to 800 milliliters per minute, depending on your setting of the speed dial here, will flow through this line, through this check valve, into this injector. This injector is drilled into your exhaust up here next to the engine head. Doesn't matter what engine you've got, it's gotta be way up there where the heat is, so it boils the oil. This guy is long enough so that it doesn't actually melt any of the line from exhaust heat, so good call there and uh, it sprays the oil into the exhaust, boils it, spits it out through the, through the tailpipe just like anything else, and your propeller chops it up. Good stuff. Nice and slimy on the prop. The wire for the switch goes down my throttle just like you do a temperature probe. And I've actually mounted mine right next to the kill button. So when I'm flying, boom, smoke, boom, kill. So it's, uh, it's, it's below the kill button, so there's, there's no mistake of which one I'm pressing, and, uh, but, but it's, still, it's still reachable with just one hand. Uh, that is the goal, so I can not have to use my other hand to press the button, which would keep me from turning and maneuvering. And I have made the fatal blunder of not turning the pump on. Can you turn the pump on for me? It's just a little itty bitty little switch over there near the hoses that go into that box. Green light? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's like priming your engine. It's one more thing you got to remember to do. Ready to fly. Shouldn't change anything. It's just a pouch back there. Don't recommend you test it on the ground though because you'll get oil all over your wing. All right. Let's hit it. Okay, hands down, one of my favorite things to do is rings. So you cut a good sharp turn, you make a ring, and then you try to fly through it. And it's really cool. It's like making your own obstacle in the sky. It's gotta be one of the funnest things I've done in a long time. Three, two, one, smoke on. Position flying to make sure you end up right back where you started. And then smoke off. Look at that! And wing over through it. <laughs> That's cool! That's cool! <laughs> It's been a second, but notice I'm still trailing smoke. It lingers in the exhaust system for a long time. Cool to do though. Your smoke only works when you've got the exhaust gas to boil it. So check this out. I'm at idle, descending, and we're gonna turn the smoke on for a second. You'll see how bad it is. So here it goes, smoke on. Ugh. 
You know, that's it. And it's getting up in my eyes. Spoke off. Doesn't doesn't really do anything. You gotta you gotta you gotta have some power on it. Yeah, see right now, right now I think it's still spraying. Luckily the light says it's not. That's just all the crap that was in my exhaust as it was idling. So you gotta use it when you're not at idle because it just gunks stuff up. I'm sure it's not good for the muffler. All right, well, despite the fact that the uh, smoke lingers, we can still do some sky type writing stuff. So check this out. Smoke on three, two, one, type, 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 type. And let's see what that looks like. Eh, little puffs. A little more spacing would have been nice, but little puffs, it's all right. Hi, cows. All right, check this out. That's pretty cool. Gotta let it burn off now. <laughs> Okay guys, you know I gotta hit it with another turn here. That's so freaking cool! I can make my own clouds to fly through. Let's see if I can just put the wingtip in it. God, how cool is that? dissipates, but it's still neat. So, PPG smoke system. I like it. It's a lot of fun. It's kind of tricky to use because a lot of the time I want to do mild swoops and stuff. You can't do it because you need to have the throttle on to make the smoke in the first place. So that's a downside. But I do like that it's rechargeable. The old one used double A's. That would have really ticked me off because I know it would have eaten through those double A's quick. I like the setup. Overall, I like the button that you can see it. The tank's got a little window on the side. If your mirror doesn't fall off like mine does, you can check that. It's, it's a good little get up. I wish it lasted longer. And that's not, a, that's not a gripe against the manufacturing. I understand the compromise in size and weight. But I wish I had like two or three minutes of smoke instead of one and a half, you know? Whatever. I'm not sure what the price is. This is a pre-production unit that they sent to me to review. I don't know what it'll cost in the end. But if I was buying one, if this had a price tag of $300, I'd be fine with that. This is worth $300 to me. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And it's tons of fun with friends. I actually shot video earlier in the week on a really nasty foggy day. It's kind of crappy video, but I'll put some in here. I flew around with Mike and David. They were chasing me and playing with the smoke that I was making. It's like a toy you can play with friends with. It was, it was super cool. Keep in mind, it does require modification of the exhaust. And if you're a Moster owner, 
that may or may not crack your exhaust faster. Something to consider. I took the risk though. I think it's neat. I, this is really cool. All right, well, unfortunately, it's a gorgeous day to fly, but I'm getting cold and I got other stuff to do today. So we're gonna call it here. Maybe uh, do one more smoke run for good measure. Okay, smoke in three, two, one. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Well, one thing you want to consider too, you probably want to burn all the crap out before you land and pack it up. I don't know what it'll do to like the exhaust silencer packing, but it's probably not good. Let's just give it a quick little whoop to do. Ah, uh, come on. Jeez. <laughs> that was sloppy. Oh well. It was also downwind. That didn't help. Bailey. <coughs> okay. Oh, when? Oh. Did, when you did your uh, Slime. smoke, it just barely drifted that way. Probably one mile an hour kind of thing. And it's really funny because you can smell the baby oil. Yeah. 